what is going on guys in last video we have successfully designed the profile page where we have displayed all the user details like image name email address view my orders button and also we have added sign out button so that we can log out from the application and navigate to the login screen in this video we are going to design the order list page where we will show all the details of orders like order id order date order status and also the number of items so let's get back to the project so first thing let's go to firebase and change the rules because the date is expired over here let's write allow read write if let's increase the date otherwise my app will crash now if i run everything works so now let's go to view my orders and show the order list over here so we have this order page let's close everything let's go to orders page here we have this order page let's remove this text and let's design so what i will do first i will give the title so i will go to cart page and from here i will copy this column with your cart same thing i will do i will copy this and paste it here and one more bracket and write over here your orders so if i go and see now you can see your orders over here now what we need to do we need to get all the orders from the firebase if you go to firebase database over here if you go to orders you can see list of orders are there they have order id and we have the details so for this user there might be any number of orders so we have to get the list of orders from the user id so what we will do we will if you go to category products page here you can see we are getting product list in the launch defect and then we are assigning and we are doing for each so same way we have to do over here so for that what i will do i will copy from here this launch defect and this one i'll paste it over here instead of product list we will do order orders list let's say and product model will be order model so we are getting the list of order model so now we have to give the path what is the path in the orders we have in the orders collection we don't want document we want to remove this where equal to user id so we have user id what is the user id user id will be current user so firebase auth dot get instance dot current user dot uid so we'll get the uid and for this user id it will get the list of orders now once we get the result we'll assign it to order model class and here we have to give order list that value equal to result list it will be order model so that's it in this way we will get the order model now here we want to show below this column after the text let's say for now text order list dot value let's see dot to string let's run and see either the orders are coming or not profile view my orders you can see we have the list of orders so we have to just design this so how to design same way we can use over here lazy column we will use and items we will pass and with that we will make a orders item view so here remove this lazy column let's add modifier equals to modifier dot fill max size and inside lazy column we'll pass items as the order list dot value here we will get each item then we can do let's say text we will get single value let's say let's just print the id over here for now let's run it restart view my orders you can see order id order id we have all the orders so now what we can do instead of this text we'll design something in a different component so let's go to component and create a kotlin class let's call it as order view file and we will use composable here order view here we'll get the item as order item let's say order item as order model that's it import it here we can show the same text that will be order item dot id and from order space we'll call this order view item will be it that's it it will work the same way to profile view my orders you can see order id so we can give any design over here so let's so let's close other tabs and let's design so i will give the simple design over here instead of text we'll just show the important things like we'll show the date we'll show the order id we'll show we have two items and we can show the status as well so what we will do here i'll use a card in card i will use column let's give modifier for the column first modifier dot uh, padding around 16 dp now in the column first i will show the order let's say order id for id i will use let's say id like this and here we can concatenate order item dot id if you see now again it orders you can see we have different card so let's design this card i will add modifier equals to modifier dot padding around 8 dp and i will use fill max width so that it will take whole width shape i will give rounded corner shape corner shape 12 dp colors 
card colors card defaults dot card colors where i will give container color as color same material theme dot surface and elevation card defaults dot elevation 8 dot db if you see now now you can see it is looking good we have order id now you can give property to this like font weight font weight dot bold font size 16 dot sp after this spacer fire equals to modifier dot height around 4 dp space let's say it will look like this now let's copy this text we will add below this we will add the date below that spacer and below that we'll add the status again below that we'll add a space and at last we'll show the items how many items are there so in this way we'll show so if you go now profile view my orders you can see right now we are writing order id only here i will show the date let's say order item dot date dot to string for now i don't want it bold 14 sp is enough here i will show order item dot status bold say 18 sp i will give different color for this color color some orange color 0x 5722 this is this orange color and at last i will show items how many items so for that what i will do order item dot items dot size i will concat items i want it semi bold dot to string that's it if i run now go to profile view my orders you can see order id this date will format it is not looking good status is there one items is there everything is there so for formatting the date what i will do in the app util i'll just create a function over here at the end format date we will take timestamp and we will convert it to a string so we need simple date format pattern let's say ddmm yyyy comma hhmm and we'll show the ampm local dot get default we'll put it in a variable let's say simple date format and we'll return simple date format dot format timestamp dot to date dot to dot time now from here we can directly call in the date app util dot format date order item dot date that's it if i run now you can see that is formatted correctly i want the month to be not the number so if i run now again you can see 27th may 2025 we have the order list if you go over here in the orders you can see all the items are orders so if any items has been changed from order to delivered or on the way let's say on the way from here if it is updated here also it will be if you go to view my orders you can see it is on the way so it will be updated real time so if you change it to if you change this order to let's say delivered you can see over here if i see this is delivered this is on the way furthermore what you can do whenever we click on this order it should show all the items in it how you can do you can go to the items we have the items id with this item id you can fetch the data and from the stock you can fetch the products so with the product id you can fetch the products and you can display that i am not doing you can do that on click of this it will go to the order details page in that order details page you can show all the items of this order it has one item it will show the one product it has two item it will show the two product in that way you can do in this way order page will be complete now view my orders is also completed so that's all for this video in next video we will add the features for favorite so what we will do whenever we click on any item let's say we have this item and we click on this favorite icon so it will be added to the favorite if you go to favorite you will see the list of item whichever you have added in the favorite so that you can purchase it later so that feature we will add in the next video so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye